I would like three lattes. My energy is non-existent. And I've been waking up a lot slower. So I don't know if I need to wake up earlier so that way I can be slower. Or find something to give me more energy because this is not okay. But anyway, welcome to the vlog. I'm not sure if this is going to be a more chill vlog if you're just riding it with me. I'm not sure. We'll see. Because I've been doing a lot, as you've seen in the last vlogs. So I may just chill back a little bit, you know, calm myself down. But, per usual, let's see where it goes. So I figured I'd just sit down for a second because I haven't really done like a sat down, sit down video in a while. Probably not going to be long, but you know me, I could rant off of my thoughts. So, mind you, the tan is tan. With the, I, I think this is a salmon pink or something like that. Anyway. With this summer, I was really like on my stuff when it came to my walking and, you know, not partaking in certain foods and so forth. But for some reason, I know what the reasonings are, but I fell off, right? I couldn't breathe half of the summer because of the wildfires. It was very uncomfortable, very annoying. Don't like that for me. It was, you know, just overall, just an uncomfortable type of situation, just personally going on, whatever. So it was just like, okay, I'm just going to go back to my comfort thing. And you know, we all do that. So it, I'm not going to fault myself. I give myself grace with that because everybody does it. And you just... You know, you switch back and forth. Like, you want the comfort. You don't care. You know, all the things. And now it's getting to a point where I have to be accountable. Because I am... I was very stressed out about it. Because I am in a season where I'm in, like... I want to just do new stuff. I'm tired of doing the same trips. I'm tired of doing the same... Because mind you, I'm a pretty much like, have two, three, two, three, two, three second homes, I feel. And every time I go there, you know, I get a little comfort, I guess, but it, should, it gets to the point where it's redundant. And I feel like I don't want to do it anymore because I'm one of those people, if I'm bored, like Rihanna say, if I'm bored, I'm going to do something else. I need to put my hands in something else. I need to be doing something else. I need to be acting in some like I just need to whatever. So I'm feeling that now, but I guess I'm gonna plan a trip. Loki already planned it. I already booked everything. Whatever. But it's about a month from now until that trip because I don't know how people do it when they just are. On the spot I don't know if it's geographically because they have an abundance of places to stay or whatever and they go to like bigger areas I'm not like that I go to a place where people want to book I go to places where you need to book at least two maybe half a year in advance because they're like a really upscale cabin country type of area now mind you I kind of miss the city a little bit. I'm not going to hold you. I'm in an area where it's in, like in the middle. But it's like. I am a person that just wants calmness. Just wants to relax. Want a massage. Call it a day. Have some wine. Just sleep. Do a thing. In the jacuzzi. Call it a day. So that's the kind of trip that I'm going towards again. Mind you. This place. I've stayed at least seven times already within the past four years. So, 
don't get me wrong very blessed very grateful to be able to do it however it's very stressful because you know you got to plan the itinerary because i'm an itinerary person too i'm not like a time person anymore but at least let's get to the area so that we can relax so what da, 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 da. traveling <laughs> is kind of getting stressful to me and i used to love traveling now it's getting a little stressful so just wanted to you know get some excitement with that because a traveling vlog or vlogs will be happening I wish I could stay <clears throat> in an area for, you know, more than three days. Like, I can only, just financially, I'm just keeping a buck with you. I can only stay two to four days, if that. You know what I mean? I can't stay a whole week, week and a half, two weeks. I can't do what the people are doing right now. So, it just is what it is. I'm realistic with it. You may see... With the growth like i said this is all a video type of diary to me so maybe i'll look back a year from now and be like in i don't know somewhere taking a month off i don't know trying to you know really hone in on the type of life that i want because for me i've always had that traditional sense because of the example of my father it's just like okay you know it's always better to do it with a duo and you know men carry you know a lot of stability financially but it just doesn't it's just not my reality at least not right now so you know it's just I'm not in the place where you know that's happening so again I hope everything does unfold to the point where you guys even see the progress and you guys see the growth because I mean to tell you and when I tell you some things in my mind and I know other people go through this too it's just like y'all me y'all trying to just talk about in general it's like there's something that clicks in your head and it's just like okay enough is enough it could be financially I'm sick of doing this um da -da 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 -da, whatever and you take action to you know try your best to get out of circumstances now mind you I understand there's a lot of bumps in the road because for the past year and a half a lot has stagnated me to the point where it's kind of getting annoying however I know with spirituality and whatnot I know why it's causing that I know why you know certain things are happening in my life pruning season isolation so on and so forth mind you the past five years have been ooh, and i'm going to keep you know just reiterating that every once in a while because it's like i need people to understand that you're not alone in the fight especially when you're fighting the good fight and when you're just trying to be a good person when you're just trying to survive when you're just trying to live a quality life who isn't trying to do that you know what i mean so i just wanted to pop on here and say not everything is gray there make time for things that are fun to you because again this is a self-care type of channel this is a lifestyle fun type of channel so it's like i need people to pour into themselves because for years i was a person that did not pour into herself now i did a lot of mirror work like i had to build my own confidence i had to do a lot of things pertaining to who I was as a person but it got to a point where I shifted after I did so much work and started pouring into other people like it was nobody's business and I wasn't getting it in return still not really getting it in return because I'm just one of those people that just do it so abundantly and easily because that's my nature the reciprocation it even if it's like the slightest thing it's just like okay <laughs> you know it's just like at this point if you can't match my energy because i feel like nobody can when it comes to reciprocation i don't know what to tell you bucko and it's gonna you know to me it would just feel like it would take time for me to realize somebody is actually pouring into me i'm tell i'm talking a long time long time
because I built years of just give, 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 and take, 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 which is they, what they did. So just I'm <laughs> being real realistic and I know I was talking about travel and I'm talking about being abundant. It, to me, it correlates. <laughs> I'm going to tell you why my brain works the way it does. It correlates to me because things like trips that I would pay for people, trips and, you know, dinners and whatever and planning out things and trying to be as elaborate as I possibly could and as thoughtful and considerate, it's just like when it's done, you know, just for me or by me or whatever the case may be, it's just like it's kind of, I don't want to say lackluster because I'm very blessed to be able to do it. It just sometimes it just don't hit the same so hopefully when I get there it you know won't feel that way I hope that it's just nothing but good things and fun and just letting go because towards next month when I'm on the trip it's gonna be like I don't want to say the last times that I'm able to travel but for the last quarter of the year with work and everything and when it starts to get a little fallish, a little wintry, I'm a northerner. So the winters, yeah. Uh, <laughs> last winter, completely like, I would say, was it this January? Yeah, this January, I wanna say end of December, January, whatever the case may be, of 2022 going in 2023, when I tell you, it was Antarctica here for what? Windstorm, snowstorm, ice storm, all in one. Okay, now mind you, I'm used to the cold. I'm used to the mounds of snow, like 12 plus feet of snow. I get it. So when it's trips like this, where it's warmer weather, maybe like I don't want to say fall because it will be in September, but it's early September. So it's still not that cold. However, to me, it helps with my mental health to be able to be like, okay, I took, you know, the following trips during the summer. I can, you know, calm down a little, be a little hobby in the winter. And in the fall, we're going to do it again. And the next summer going to be better. You know what I'm saying? It's just, you got to be realistic and you got to be positive with certain things, even though I know this summer was not what I expected. Because last summer was lit. It was the best summer I think I've had in a very long time. So it's like, okay. I just wanted to repeat of that. Didn't happen. It's starting to, um, I guess, be on a up note again. Because I think the wildfire situation with Canada smoking me out. I think it's um, settling in a little bit. I mean, probably be a few couple days because I even see a little haze now. Just because it's hot and it's muggy. I don't know. So, I just think, you know, when I am able to travel, because I haven't been as frequently as I used to. When I tell you, I used to be lodging maybe twice a month to now it's like maybe twice a year. Like, it's a dramatic drop down. So, and mind you, pros and cons with everything. But, um... I chose my sanity over what I thought was leisure and luxury. Like I let go of other things so that way I can concentrate on just finding love again for myself and so many other things that I was compensating for when it comes to like the luxury, the leisure, the whatever. So it was a balance. But now, you know, I'm... I feel like I'm at a good point where it's like I want certain things for myself. My, mind you, I've always wanted certain things because it was in a way ingrained in me because it's a long story with that, okay? Long story. I, I'll do a tell-all, but I, I feel like I want to build my community a little bit more. So that way, you know, when I do post a video or a series 
that gets to the deep rooted things of me I want to be able to have as many people be able to watch it because to me that's a those videos and those type of series are videos that could have a very heavy impact so I'm just trying to be strategic on when to you know upload something like I don't know if it'll be a hundred subscribers I don't know if it's at a thousand subscribers I don't know so I will lean into that when I feel you know the spirit let me know that I got to do it so but it, it, it will come you know I, I do want to share that part of me I do want to let it all out so that way again I know it's going to help somebody I know it's going to you know fill somebody's heart it may want them to change it may want them to do better it may want them to you know think about the world in a different perspective so that's my goal like I always want to be able to have maybe a teaching moment a fun moment you know <laughs> adventure moment a self-care moment but I also want to be really transparent with what I'm doing where I'm at in life so that way I could always look back on it so that's what's coming up very soon within the next month in between time. I don't know what's gonna go down. God willing. That it's you know, it's a you know, peak because I you know I was in a valley, peak valley peak. So hopefully <laughs> that you know he he lets me ride the peak a little bit, just a little bit for a little bit longer. So and we will see if this is just a chit chat. But if you see more time on the video, I got into more things. So let's see. <laughs> okay, so I figured I'd talk to you guys since I'm on the way to pick up some stuff. And actually, let me turn the air on. Because why is this traffic so loud today? Why is everybody out right now? Mind you, I got off early, so what are we doing? <laughs> and I hope it's not too bothersome, the air that is. Because I just want to conceal some noise. So anyway, today was my last straw with my current living situation. Mind you because of how my payments are set up, like just my paychecks, I pay very early on. There has been some favoritism and some prejudices. Oh, the whole night has been thrown at me pretty much. And just because somebody is related to the staff, they're getting special treatment and pretty much just treating the complex like shit. Like having noise like they're being a nuisance when it comes to noise and at this point I have filed a complaint with the city I don't care and I'm gonna just keep it buck with you because why are all these people not considering people mind you I'm not on the top floor maybe because people on top floors never realize that someone fucking lives below them excuse my language but it pisses me off like what are we doing I just wanted to speak on that real quick because when you're not even the problem especially with me I pay my rent on time my utilities are never turned off whatever the case may be I don't give a, I don't give a damn so I should be listened to on top of that they have been renovating the apartments where people move out so I know that's why they want me to move out they want to gentrify the area and they want me out because I don't have a renovated apartment okay we got your wish but just know the people that <laughs> is going to live here's the thing about um thinking that people that are evil having the upper hand they never do i'm telling you why i have been dealing with this all year the stomping the disrespect the targeting whatever have you but dealing with that so the next neighbor that moves below this person 
is literally going to even cause a bigger issue than I have because it has taken me several months for me to get to my boiling point. And I have a written notice too saying that I'm not renewing my lease. I'm sick of landlords. I'm sick of property manager, property assistants, because I was in the business as well. I was a property management, not in rentals per se. However, I was in it when it came to residence halls at a college. So you got me messed up because if I was to ever do that to my students, if I was ever to do that to somebody's roommate, whatever the case may have you, I would get my neck wrung. And I'm tired of it. I'm tired of the treatment that I give people not returning me. Mind you, I'm not a problematic person. I'm on my business. I just don't want constant stomping in my face and slamming 2, 3 a.m., 9 p.m., 7 p.m. I have all this recorded, so at this point, my claim is already backed up, and I don't care. I don't care. So I have to be targeted, and now I'm seen as the nuisance because I've been reporting it, and nobody's had called me. Like, I literally have every transaction. <laughs> but, like I said, people just... It's just the last will be first, and the first will be last. They think they have this situation handle for whatever but okay like I said I've been a patient resident and the next person I already know that they're gonna move down there too is not gonna take it so they're gonna report them too and it's just gonna be a bigger issue that's fine with me I'm gonna be happy somewhere else and at this point I don't even care if it was me because I wanted to settle in because I was so used to moving every year or every other year and it was exhausting so I was trying to find a place that I could you know just be at for a while but it just it's not happening and this person behind me is driving like an ass you can't even see past your steering wheel sweetheart what are you doing why you why do people drive a big ass truck but can't even drive it correctly why get a big vehicle what are we doing? Shit pisses me off to no end. Pick a lane. And it's not even rush hour. Like, what are people doing? I'm so annoying now. Like, I'm just irritated today, but I know with me voicing this, because I know I'm not the only person, you know, having rental issues. I'm not the only person that's having financial issues. I'm not the only person that's having a spiritual attack because that stomping or whatever is a spiritual attack because who can sleep? Who can have quality sleep when somebody's like dropping shit on their floor and it's your ceiling? It's not possible. I'm under a bridge so if it gets dark that's why. Really over it. We're going to switch to a positive because you know me, I'm a mix of positive and renting. Renting? Yeah, see, it's on my brain. Ranting. I meant ranting. So, yeah. Hope everybody's week is going well. Um, probably because it's hot outside. People don't, I don't know the equivalency of people not knowing how to drive and it's hot. I don't get it. Understand. And mind you, you know, good things are going to come my way too because the newly renovated apartments that it seems like this area is doing, I'm going to move into a new one anyway. They can renovate theirs and have a horrible time, and I'll have a great time with my newly renovated place somewhere. And I don't care if it's, you know, practically next year. I'm making provisions now so that way I can move. I don't care if I have help. I don't care if I have to have a U-Haul. I do not care. I'm moving out. I don't care. Pat it. And I'm a kid reporting too. I don't care. Because at this point, people just love poking the damn bear and thinking no reaction is going to happen. Okay. Sure. They lied on me several times too just the office just trying to place shit on me that never even happened 
trying to say it happened like so yeah it's the weekend now don't know what's gonna go down I have been very busy at work for the past couple months so it's like now kind of catching up to me and I am exhausted but it has been nice weather more recently so I kind of want to be outside but you know with everything that has happened this summer compromising it's been compromising being outside and the person in front of me had their door open and they're just driving their passenger door open that's nice <laughs> I already told y'all in like last vlogs that in this area is super you know like it's not to me I don't feel safe most times now if I'm behind the wheel yeah I feel a little bit more safer um but the people around me no like the cars around me absolutely not Ooh, a garage sale but I'm probably gonna do some angry cleaning but if I feel threatened it is what it is because at this point I'm sick of people getting away with so much stuff and they not have repercussions and consequences now biblically I understand that because people that aren't getting punished for what they do their sins are getting stacked up their problems are getting collected <laughs> and it's funny to me at this point because I already know if you're not going through turmoil if you're not you know whatever if you think everything is peachy keen and everything hunky dory and you're not even paying attention to your wrongdoing your sins are getting stacked up and you're gonna get your ass whooped by christ and the lord almighty that's what's gonna happen so i gotta keep that i gotta keep playing that in my head i gotta keep replaying it in my head and be satisfied with it those that are getting the ass beat now is getting corrected by the lord the ones that aren't is going to the lake of fire that's how i feel and i don't care <laughs> see see how i you know the full point of that is see how i always try to turn it back to the most high i gotta praise the most high for the test that he has given me because he already knows that i'm trying to do the right thing he already knows i'm trying to be patient everything so there's that so this is more of a chit chat vlog just getting stuff off my chest because per usual like I said this is my little visual situation so I can look back and be like wow Ash the growth the growth is real okay so let me get off of here get through this traffic pick up what I want to get but this is going to be the end of the vlog it's one of the shorter ones I think it's gonna be around 25 ish minutes but until next time, take care of it.